Human resource is a critical element in service delivery. Kakamega County has initiated an administrative structure right from the governor up to the community administrator. These levels of administration include 400 community administrators, 60 ward administrators, and 12 sub-county administrators, all coordinated through the Ministry of Public Service and Administration. Public Service is a very uh, uh, critical department. This is the department where the issue of staff are addressed, motivation of staff, uh, because human resource is a very critical resource for, for, for service delivery uh, purposes. We have established structures up to the grassroots, from the governor up to the community admi uh, administrator. Community area is a very small area at, at the grassroots level that uh, the community area is able to oversee for, for service delivery. We have 400 community areas, we have 60 ward administrators, and we have 12 uh, sub county administrators, all are coordinated through the Department of Public Service and Administration. There's a county administrator which ensures that these, these structures are in place and they are working. At community level, Kakamega residents access administrative services through the community administrators who coordinate with the village council. This council consists of experts in health, education, agriculture, roads and environment. With a minimum of 25 people, the Community Area Council has implemented structures on staff employment and administrative departments. The evolution is essentially about bringing services closer to the people. So um, whatever strides we have achieved to date, it's about um, organizing people, making sure we have the structures, the systems in place to deliver services. So as a ministry, um, we have ensured that um, we have set up structures right down to the community area level. I believe uh, Kakamega County must be, if not the first, or among the first, uh, to devolve services to community area. So that has been one of our main achievements, actually, um, to ensure that uh, the services are devolved right down to the community area level. My main objective is to coordinate, uh, manage, and supervise all the administrative functions within this particular uh, ward. And uh, we are doing this under the county uh, government of Kakamega. <laughs> Village councils are composed of um, experienced uh, professionals who, uh, are out of their choice, are residing in their community areas. And, and so we'll have uh, experts in uh, health forming the committee responsible for health, experts in education forming the committee for education, experts in uh, agriculture forming the committee of agriculture. Uh, when we took over uh, the county government, uh, we only had uh, about 900 em employees. Uh, and uh, we had about 300 that were devolved uh, from national government, that's mainly in Minister of Health, Minister of Agriculture, and a bit of uh, public works. Uh, but uh, we are under, uh, as a county, through the County Public Service Board, uh, we have been able uh, to hire uh, about 3,000 additional employees. Now we started with the uh, developing of a county structure. Uh, we engaged uh, PwC, Prize Waters Coopers, to help us 
come up with the structures and uh, a staff establishment and staff needs for the county. Now on the other side, we also uh, have uh, the administrative department. We have a full-fledged administrative uh, administration network or structure up to the grassroots. We have uh, sub-county administrators in charge of uh, all the 12 sub-counties in the county. And these ones di report directly to the uh, chief of site in charge of uh, public service and administration. Now, under the uh, sub-county administrators, we have uh, ward administrators who are in charge of uh, the, the 60 administrative uh, units uh, that we have. Now, under the ward administrators, we have the community area administrators who are in charge of various communities, and we have over 400 of them uh, in the entire county. Uh, these are the ones of the grassroots who deal with the people on a day-to-day uh, basis. Uh, uh, they part, uh, take part in public participation so that they can communicate upwards what is required at that uh, particular level in terms of uh, public participation. Our county government of Kakamega, through His Excellence of Paranya's leadership, has created structures. These structures range from the village councils, community area, administrators, we have ward administrators, we have sub county administrators where I am, and then we have chief officers, then we have county executive committee members, and then of course the office of the governor, which is led by his excellency Oparanya. So we do coordination. For example, I'll take bursary. We do coordination of bursary in the sense that, for example, at the ward level, we have a committee, a committee where the ward admin is a secretary, and then we have members of uh, the community, especially the chair comes from the community. We have the MCA representative there, plus other key stakeholders. So through that bursary committee, the bursary applicants are vetted under my watch as a sub admin to ensure that the respective beneficiaries are given the rightful share. Under the community area administrators, we also have a community area council. Uh, these community area councils are made up of uh, 25 uh, uh, people from local, that local community area. Uh, we have uh, five in charge of health. Those are mainly retired officers in uh, uh, health. We have uh, another five on environment. We have another five on um, roads. We have uh, another five uh, on water and another five on agriculture. So they sit as subcommittees. They, they decide what should be done, the really needs or requirements of the community. And then they now put together, and then it's passed to the county for implementation. So our development it comes from down up. We don't just uh, force people uh, on what we need to do for them. They are the ones who tell us what exactly uh, they want through those community area councils. These are now the Wananchi participating directly. So in each sector, let's say health, we will have a sector council at the community area. The members of that council will be from that community. So they are the ones who will sit with their fellow uh, village uh, mates or community area mates, deciding what are our priorities in this community. Do we need a health center? Uh, do we need, uh, is, is there a malaria outbreak uh, and so on? And interventions are also channeled through that structure. I must say that uh, the most vibrant department currently is actually the administrative. It has a very a well elaborate structure, right from the sub county administration well in place. We have the ward administrators, then we have the community area administrators. So up to the grassroots, the government is felt. The evolution is actually working. If there is anybody who was in Kakameka County by 2000 and come to visit uh, Kakameka Town uh, or Kakameka County as it is now, uh, definitely that person will tell you how uh, Kakameka County has been transformed from what it used to be and what it is now.
look at the road infrastructure, uh, look at uh, the lives of people uh, in terms of uh, their living standards, uh, it has gradually great to a great extent improved this has been a major milestone that will oversee development projects at grassroots level kakamega county is committed to service delivery and making use of available resources in realization of the county's vision nasema sande kwa serikali ya baranya sasa imeleta maofisi karibu na sisi kubada utuma ne raizi si watu naenda mbali na panda gari ya bana natembea tu kwa miguu nafikia pale penye ofisi hiyo mimi ni mtu wa wa ivono tumeona kasi yake imefanya msuri barabara ni nzuri tulikuwa tumeteseka samani tumeona saa hii sitini ametuingishia kwa kila nyumba ikiwezekana itaingia kwa sababu tumesambazwa miti imesambazwa kwa kila nyumba tumefurahi sana kwa kasi ya mheshimiwa wetu ubarani wa ila na utufanyia if you want a place uh, where you can exercise all your competencies in terms of knowledge, skills, and be recognized, then Kakameka County is a place to be. And as a government, of His Excellency, the Governor, we are committed to ensuring that we deliver to the citizens what we promised. This is where devolution thrives. <laughs>